the locked room. The house stood before them, an imposing structure with an air of mystery that seemed to seep from its very foundation. The Thompson family had recently moved into their new home, unaware of the darkness that lurked within its walls. As they settled into their newfound abode, they noticed a locked door, an enigmatic entryway that stirred their curiosity and instilled a sense of unease. The door taunted them, its existence a constant reminder of the secrets that lay beyond. Mr. Thompson, driven by a mix of intrigue and trepidation, approached the door, his fingers tracing the weathered wood. But as he attempted to twist the doorknob, an unseen force pushed back, preventing his entry. The family pondered the locked room, their minds filled with a torrent of questions. What could lie within its confines? Why was it locked away, concealed from prying eyes? Their imaginations ran wild, conjuring images of forgotten horrors and hidden treasures. Days turned into weeks, and the Thompsons became increasingly consumed by the mystery of the locked room. Mrs. Thompson, her curiosity overpowering her apprehension, began to research the history of the house. She discovered tales of a previous owner, a recluse who had spent his final days behind the locked door, indulging in unspeakable acts of darkness. The Thompson's excitement was overshadowed by a sense of impending doom. They felt a malevolent presence seeping from the cracks in the walls, its tendrils reaching out, eager to escape the confines of the locked room. Whispers echoed through the house, a chorus of voices that grew louder with each passing night. Unable to resist the allure any longer, Mr. Thompson enlisted the help of a locksmith. Determined to uncover the secrets hidden within, he watched with bated breath as the locksmith picked at the lock, the sound of metal against metal reverberating through the house. With a click, the door swung open, revealing a room steeped in darkness, a void that seemed to devour the light. The air grew heavy, suffocating the family as they cautiously stepped into the room. Their eyes widened, their breath caught in their throats as they beheld the horror that lay before them. The walls were adorned with cryptic symbols, a tapestry of ancient knowledge and unspeakable power. The room seemed to pulsate with an evil energy, the contents eager to escape their prison and wreak havoc upon the world. In the center of the room stood an ornate pedestal, upon which rested a dusty tome, an ancient grimoire that whispered forbidden knowledge. Its pages were filled with incantations and rituals, promising the power to manipulate reality itself. The Thompsons recoiled in fear, realizing the magnitude of their discovery. The locked room was a gateway to darkness, a portal through which an unspeakable evil threatened to escape. They had unwittingly unleashed forces that hungered for chaos and destruction. As days turned into nights, the family witnessed the house's transformation, a descent into madness. Objects moved on their own accord, shadows danced upon the walls, and whispers filled the air, an eerie symphony of malevolence that drowned out the sound of their own voices. In a desperate attempt to save their souls, the Thompsons sought the help of a renowned exorcist, the man arrived, his presence a flicker of hope in the face of impending doom. He performed rituals, his chance of barrier against the encroaching darkness. But the forces within the locked room were relentless, they hungered for freedom, determined to consume the family's sanity. The exorcist's efforts proved futile, the evil too strong to be contained. One by one, the Thompsons fell victim to the sinister presence that had plagued their home. Their minds twisted, their bodies tormented, they became mere vessels for the malevolent force that had escaped the locked room. In the end, only one member of the family remained, Emily, the youngest daughter. She stood before the locked room, its darkness inviting and terrifying in equal measure. With a resolve born of desperation, she uttered words of defiance, her voice trembling but unwavering. Be gone, foul spirits. Return to the depths from whence you came. The room trembled, its walls quaking as the evil within fought against Emily's resistance. But she stood firm, her eyes burning with a determination to protect what remained of her family. 
A blinding light filled the room, the pure essence of Emily's willpower and love. The darkness within the locked room retreated, its tendrils retracting with a cacophony of anguished cries. The house, once a vessel of evil, was now cleansed, a sanctuary reclaimed from the grip of darkness. Emily emerged from the ordeal, her soul scarred but unbroken. She would forever carry the weight of the locked room, the horrors she had witnessed, the loved ones she had lost. But she would also carry a flicker of hope, a testament to the indomitable human spirit that can triumph over the darkest of forces. And as she walked away from the house, leaving behind the remnants of the locked room, Emily vowed to never forget the power of darkness, but also to embrace the power of light, a beacon that could guide her through even the most harrowing of nightmares.